In this video, we're going to talk about the concept of polarization. And really, polarization is comes about because of the oscillating electric and magnetic fields for an individual photon, or the photon as a packet of light. And it really just comes down to the fact that the electric field oscillates uh, for a single photon in a single direction. So in this case, we have this photon. It's oscillating in the xy plane. So this electric field has what we call a certain polarization. Now, if we have multiple photons, there's nothing that says that we have to have all the photons oscillating in the same direction. We can have, a, have them randomly oriented. And if they're randomly oriented, we're going to call this light unpolarized. And unpolarized, sometimes you'll see a picture that has a bunch of arrows in all the directions. It just means that the electric field for some photons are oscillating in this direction, some photons are oscillating in this direction, some photons are oscillating with their electric fields in this direction. All the photons, however, will be traveling in the same direction in this case. So this is what we call unpolarized light. However, if we could produce all of our photons with the electric fields pointed in the same direction, say the vertical direction, then we would call that light polarized. And we would designate it by a double arrow just pointing in one direction. So this is what we would call polarized light. Well, how do we do that, you may ask? Well, we have these special little types of filters um, that are called polarizers. You know, we're really tricky on the name. We're coming up with a really highly sophisticated name called a polarizer. It's just a filter that polarizes light. So what happens is we take our photons, all the photons that are oscillating in all these different directions, and we send them through a polarizer. And there's a couple different ways to make a polarizer, but uh, the most common way is to stretch um, a polymer so that all of the the polymer chain aligns itself in one direction, and then we coat it so it absorbs in one direction. Uh, the coating will absorb the photons in one direction, but not in the other. But what happens is we put in an optical axis on this, uh, or some polarization dependence. And when these photons come in, only the polarization, only the photons with polarization in the vertical direction, as it's aligned with the polarizer, are going to be let through. So in the end, we block out some of our light and filter out the polarization that's left in this light. And some of the photons that have polarizations in both the vertical and the horizontal, only the vertical components will get sent through. So all the light becomes polarized. Now, we can look at further even into this. And the next question is, what happens if we take this photon and put another polarizer in front? Well, if the full polarizer is in the same direction, nothing's going to happen. Now, so we start again, send our polarized light through a polarizer, we get polarized light. And this time, let's actually turn the polarizer just a little bit of an angle. So originally it started with its uh, polarization axis in this direction. We're going to now rotate it by an angle of theta. And we're going to see that the polarization, the light that comes out, isn't in this direction, it's now in this new direction. It's going to align itself with this polarization. So both of them are going to have the same angle when they come out. And it's really because this light, when it sees this polarizer, it sees part of its component is in this direction and part of it is in a perpendicular. So the parallel to this axis will get through, the perpendicular component of that will not. And there's a wonderful uh, law called Malu's Law, which says that the intensity of the light that comes out, I, is equal to the intensity that goes in times the cosine squared of the angle between the polarization in and the, the new polarization out. It's a pretty simple law. And there's a couple of interesting effects. We can see in this case above that we drew it that when the intensity comes in and we don't necessarily get a zero intensity if we're not directly aligned. However, we get a polarization dependence that's uh, based off of the angle, and that the only when the polarizers are perpendicular to each other, so when one is exactly perpendicular to the other, does this angle go to 90 degrees and the cosine of 90 is zero, so at that case we get no intensity. But for any other angle, we'll get 
a small decrease in the intensity, unless that angle happens to be the exact same angle as the previous one, in which case we get our original intensity out. So we get this cosine squared function.